Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Learn Sanskrit. I am Dr. Chitra Bharadwaj and today we are going to continue our discussion about the scholars. Before I move towards today's discussion, I would like to wish all of you a very best of the health because today the situation is so that we all have to keep ourselves in a good health and in a very sound condition to prevent ourselves from this grave situation of COVID-19. Let's start the discussion about the scholars of Vedic Sahita. In our previous videos, we have discussed about the classification of scholars that was divided into three parts according to the time of their existence. The three classifications are ancient, medieval and modern. The series that, uh, that is going on right now is about the scholars of Vedas and in this uh, series the first video that was there was about the ancient scholar Yask and then in the next video we discussed about Sion. Both of these were the ancient scholars and in the next video we discussed about the medieval time scholars in which we discussed, we discussed about Wilson, Roth, Max Muller and some other scholars of those times. In, today, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the modern scholars. Here, we need to know who are the scholars that belong to this period. The scholars that we are going to discuss are both from India and foreign. Here, we are going to discuss about Aurobindo Ghosh, Dayanand Saraswati, A.B. Keith, McDonald, Peterson, Fischel, and Madhusudan Ojha, etc. So, let's start today's discussion. The first scholar that we are going to discuss today is Aurobindo Ghosh. Aurobindo Ghosh was a philosopher of 20th century. He was very important scholar in understanding the Vedas in a sense that the way he describes Vedas is very different from the earlier commentaries. He has based his work on the science commentary but he has taken a different aspect of this Vedas where science has taken the ritualistic aspect to the Vedas he has taken a very different aspect that is psychological and symbolic aspect. The works of Arbindo Ghosh are the first work is Secret of Vedas and the second is Hymns of the Mystic Fire. Here I would like to mention that Secret of Vedas was his first creation and after that came the Hymns of mystic fire. The way Aurobindo Ghosh has described Vedas is very different. His vision is completely different from the earlier commentary because he describes the dual nature of Vedas, one being literal and other being symbolic. He has taken the basis of Vedas in two concepts, Ritam and Satya. Here Ritam is cosmic order and Satya is truth. Here he says that the fire god Agni acts as a mediator between the humans and Devatas or God and Goddesses. According to him, the Devatas have sent Agni to humans so that humans should attain Ritam and Satya. Here I would like to mention that work of Aurobindo Ghosh is very important as it gives a very different aspect to the reading of or the study of Vedas as it gives a very dual nature to the Vedas one being literal and other being symbolic. So the work of Aurobindo Ghosh becomes really important as it gives a different arena to the studies of Vedas. The next scholar that we are going to discuss today is Maharishi Dayanand Saraswati. Uh, he was a philosopher, a social reformer and the founder of Arya Samaj. 
He founded Arya Samaj in the year 1875. He, he gave the honorary title of Moksha Moolam to Max Muller. His works are Rig Vedadi Bhashya Bhumika, Rig Ved Bhashyam, Yajur Ved Bhashyam. These are the work which actually explains his knowledge about Vedas. He believed the infallible authority of, he advocated the doctrine of karma and reincarnation. He was a person who gave the slogan of back to Vedas. He actually stood for Vedas and not for the Vedic later Vedic text. His commentary on Vedas is from Vedic Sanskrit to Sanskrit as well as in Hindi. The next scholar that we are going to discuss today is MacDonald. He, he was born in India during the British period and he got the three scholarships, one for German, other for Chinese and third one for Sanskrit. He became a deputy professor of Sanskrit at Oxford in the year 1888 and later in the year 1899 he became a Bowdoin professor of Sanskrit. MacDonald edited various Sanskrit texts, even wrote a grammar and even compiled a dictionary. So his scholars and the books written by them helps us to understand the Vedic text and the central idea about Vedas and how the other people and other scholars have perceived and taken some other point of view. So whenever we read, we are going to read Vedas. So we are going to read and even at times we are going to quote these scholars. So we should be aware about their works, what have they written. The McDonald's very famous work is the history of Sanskrit literature where he talks about Vedic texts and the later Vedic texts where uh, Brahman, Upanishad and Aranyaks and even uh, Rama and Mahabharat Puran and so on. So in a way we understand the central ideas behind these Sanskrit texts. So that is where the importance of the work of MacDonald lies. MacDonald has also compiled a dictionary, has written a grammar also. A history of Vedic mythology is very important to understand the mythology of Vedas. So these were the works that are very important in understanding the Vedas. The next scholar, the foreign scholar is A.B. Keith. With, uh, A.B. Keith has many books to his credit. Some of his works are Indian Mythology, The Religion and Philosophy of Upanishads and Vedas, The History of Sanskrit Literature. He has done some translations also, like he has translated Etre Aranyak, he has translated Etre Brahman and Kaushatikri Brahman also. And one more, he has uh, even translated Black Yajur Veda. So these are the prominent works of A.V. Keith. So these were the scholars that we have dealt in big detail. But apart from these, there are many other scholars who have also contributed in the understanding of Vedas like Pishal, Peterson, Madhusudan Oja, Pandit Girdhar, Sharma Chaturvedi, etc. I hope you liked the video. Do share your comments with us. And if you want me to cover any topic of your interest, do share that also with me. Because that gives me motivation to work even harder. Thank you.